German company Meller Protection has introduced the innovative exoskeleton Exom. With reinforced armor capable of protecting against direct hits from armor-piercing bullets. But that's not the only innovative part of this device. The exoskeleton also redistributes up to 70% of the load, allowing soldiers to carry heavy equipment or ammunition. Additionally, thanks to its special design, the mechanical skeleton provides a high degree of mobility, which is vital when moving through challenging terrain or in confined spaces. Unlike other similar devices, Exum does not require external power sources, heavy batteries, or charging equipment. This feature allows it to be used for long missions or combat tasks in remote locations. Manufacturing metal components is a lengthy and labor-intensive process that requires the use of specialized equipment. Significantly simplifying and speeding up the production of metal products by 10 times will be possible with the new 3D printing technology developed by scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. For example, metal table legs and chair frames can be printed in just a few minutes thanks to this solution. The method involves applying molten aluminum to a layer of tiny glass beads along a computer-defined trajectory. Due to its physical properties, the metal quickly solidifies and acquires the necessary three-dimensional structure. Then, the printed item undergoes finishing processing on a machine and is fully ready for use. According to the developer, the new technology is perfect for quickly manufacturing large components in architecture, construction, or industrial design. Hermes Company has successfully completed ground tests of the first prototype of the hypersonic unmanned aircraft, Quarter Horse MK0 which according to developers, will be able to reach speeds five times faster than the speed of sound. During the ground tests, the team of engineers and U.S. Air Force pilots tested various unmanned aircraft systems, including remote control and autopilot behavior in case of loss of communication between the UAV and the control cabin. Interestingly, the prototype was designed and built in just six months, and all ground tests took the team 37 days. It is expected that the aircraft will make its first flight later this year, after which, according to company specialists, it will be used in military missions including urgent cargo transportation and aerial reconnaissance. We're used to virtual concepts, most of which never materialize in metal. However, white motorcycle concepts is an exception to the rule. This is not just a concept anymore, but a real working prototype codenamed WMC250EV, which is designed to break the world speed record for electric motorcycles, accelerating to over 248 miles per hour. The main feature of the device is the patented V-Air technology, which is a large air duct in the center of the frame. Thus, when the bike moves, air passes through the bike itself, not around it, allowing for the reduction of air resistance by as much as 70%. Moreover, most of the components of the device are made of aluminum and carbon fiber which significantly reduces its weight and makes the developer's claims about a new speed record even more realistic. New technologies imply new entertainments. So, at the end of February, the world's first jetpack race will take place in Dubai. Participants of the event will use the gravity jet suit, which has one built-in turbine on the back and four more on the arms, as a racing car. The latter are used for maneuvering on the track, while the main one, with a power of 1,050 horsepower, acts as the main engine. The cost of one such suit is $483,000, and eight people will participate in the race. Thus, almost $4 million will fly on the track at the same time.
Finnish company AW Energy has reported successful tests of its wave roller wave turbine, which can generate up to 1 megawatt of green electricity. Two years ago, a trial installation was placed near the coast of Portugal to determine its capabilities and ability to withstand saltwater. Recently, engineers brought the turbine to the surface for inspection and as it turned out, the power station is in excellent condition. These results open up great prospects. The company is already working on the mass production of wave generators, which according to forecasts will bring about 275 million euros in investment into Europe's economy and create over 500 new jobs. Additionally, according to the developers, such wave generators attract large schools of fish. This in turn will have a positive impact on the European fishing industry. Inspecting tall structures built by humans is a dangerous and laborious task requiring special training and equipment. So why not entrust it to robots? That's exactly what Swiss engineers thought and developed the innovative autonomous drone Valero T, which can conduct contact inspections of tall objects. The main feature of the UAV is its ability to tilt 90 degrees in any plane, allowing it to maneuver structural elements and inspect various types of surfaces. Interaction with objects is carried out using a special sensor, which provides more accurate measurement results. Additionally, the device can operate in semi-automatic mode even without GPS, allowing it to explore objects that are inaccessible to other autonomous drones. While the previous drone works wonders on Earth, the world's first Martian helicopter, Ingenuity, has completed its flights on the Red Planet. To the immense disappointment of NASA specialists, one of the helicopter's blades sustained serious damage during the last landing, and it will no longer be able to take off into the sky of Mars. The most likely cause of the crash is a failure of the navigation system, which lost orientation in space. As a result, the device tilted and snagged the ground with its blade leading to its damage. However, it is worth noting that the helicopter far exceeded all engineers' expectations and made 72 flights instead of the planned five. Orb Aerospace has unveiled the concept of a fully functional electric aircraft, the SJX which is a futuristic blend of a Star Wars spaceship and a flying car. The electric plane is compact and can easily fit in a standard garage, and its vertical takeoff and landing technology eliminates the need for extensive infrastructure for its landing. As for the technical specifications, the SJX has, according to the developers, a range of 1,000 nautical miles, a maximum speed of 185 miles per hour, and a payload capacity of up to 500 pounds. Due to its compact size, 25 of these aircraft can easily fit into a C-130 cargo plane and be delivered to any part of the world within 24 hours. This level of mobility allows the SJX to be used not only as urban transport, but also during humanitarian missions or rescue operations in remote areas. Gravitational waves were first detected in 2015 using a ground-based device called an interferometer. However, its imperfections prompted scientists to come up with a more accurate way to detect such waves. The result of their work was the LISA Gravitational Telescope Project. It consists of three satellites that will form a perfect triangle in space, with sides that are about 1.5 million miles long. At the center of each part of the telescope will be a free-flying orientation core. According to modern concepts of gravity, two bodies protected from external influences should maintain a constant position relative to each other. 
A mini version of the installation has already successfully passed tests in space, and a full-scale model is planned to be deployed in orbits by 2034. Due to its size and lack of interference, LISA will be able to detect gravitational waves from large objects in the universe and any objects in our galaxy, which according to scientists will completely change our understanding of the structure of the world. The Crabster CR200 is a huge six-legged underwater robot that can swim. The robot can be lowered by crane to about 650 feet below the surface, where it can walk on the seabed on its six legs, each controlled by 30 joints. It requires four people to operate it, with one controlling the legs, the second managing the probes, the third monitoring the locators, and the last one tracking its position and navigation. The robot weighs 1,322 pounds and is equipped with a high-resolution scanning hydrolocator, an acoustic camera, and several optical cameras. Its development goal is to explore sunken ships in areas with strong currents, which pose a special danger to divers. An inventor from New Zealand has created a flying vessel on an air cushion. Rudy Hammond, who lives in the city of Nelson on the South Island, requisitioned a glass cylinder from a family barbecue, parts from his wife's car, namely a 1.8-liter engine and the control lever from his daughter's scooter for his creation. It looks like a regular hovercraft, but with detachable wings added. This allows the vessel to take off and travel over 140 miles at a height of about 10 feet once it reaches sufficient speed. Just imagine, you can swim and fly at the same time, exploring the beauty of surrounding water bodies at a speed of 56 miles per hour. Would you like to have such a means of transportation? Pet doors are a great solution if your furry friend likes to roam, but there's always the risk of wild animals or even intruders getting into your home. Pawport solves this problem in a unique way. It's the one-of-a-kind pet door controlled via an app that fits into existing door frames and turns them into secure devices that wild animals or intruders can pass through. You can control and lock Pawport using a smartphone app, but it can continue to work using a Bluetooth chip on your pet's collar. The chip will trigger the door to open when your pet approaches. But don't worry, you can set specific curfew times when your pet can't go outside. Plus, Pawport tracks when and how often your pet goes outside so you know what your furry friend is up to during the day. The company Sea Rider made waves with its latest innovation, a twin-engine electric water bike. This new invention aims to combine the thrilling control of a motorcycle with the high-speed dynamics of a jet ski with electric propulsion. At the core of Sea Rider's innovations is a focus on lightweight design and performance. Traditional personal watercrafts were known for their bulky and heavy construction, but the Sea Racer stands out at just 143 pounds. Such a significant weight reduction is crucial for enhancing maneuverability and responsiveness on the water. It's equipped with dual 45 horsepower electric motors, providing a top speed of 48 miles per hour. The Sea Racer's battery is another standout feature, offering up to 50 minutes of riding time without recharging. Its removable design makes recharging and battery replacement easier, potentially extending your time on the water. Google introduces a phenomenal new artificial intelligence for video creation, Lumiere. Lumiere can produce amazingly realistic or high-quality surrealistic video clips up to 5 seconds long. It can animate still images or only parts of them in response to natural language text prompts about what you'd like to see. The new AI can take an image, clone its style, and then use that style to create a series of video clips on other topics that look and feel so similar they could have been created in a branding agency. Moreover, Lumiere can take your own original video and turn everything into Lego, origami, or flowers. You just need to tell it what you want.
The Sirius Smart Ski Goggles combine artificial intelligence and augmented reality for multi-dimensional skiing. Designed to help control your movements, communication, and location, these goggles eliminate most problems associated with skiing and snowboarding. Convenience starts with Bluetooth connectivity, allowing you to use mobile data without removing gloves. Side buttons provide easy navigation, while the screen displays important information like lift schedules, wind strength, and the location of nearby friends. Moreover, the goggles make it easy to capture your experiences with high-definition photos and videos while skiing without additional gear. This reduces the risk of injury or losing touch with loved ones. The all-electric Rolls-Royce plane has completed its first flight in the UK. The plane utilized a 400-kilowatt electric transmission with the most powerful battery ever created for an aircraft. During the test flight, the pilot managed to reach a speed of 132 miles per hour. But that's not the limit. Three engines allow the plane's propellers to continuously deliver over 500 horsepower and the blades rotate at a low enough speed for stable and almost silent flight, allowing the plane to reach speeds of 300 miles per hour. All this with over 97% energy efficiency and zero emissions. Another interesting electric aircraft in development is by Beta Technologies. Their unique electric five-seater plane, the CX-300, can fly up to 386 miles. Its main feature is the fact that it's a tilt-rotor aircraft, meaning it has both wings and propellers. This design allows the CX-300 to take off and land like a helicopter while flying like an airplane. In fact, the CX-300 started as a beta aircraft prototype, initially designed to gather data on conventional takeoffs and landings. But after testing, it proved highly successful to the developers. By the way, pilots flew a total of 22,000 miles on the CX-300 prototype in several test flights, confirming its efficiency. Both of these aircrafts are expected to open up a new branch of commercial flights, so they could be available for personal use in no time. Cyrusher has introduced the electric Ripple snowboard, capable of moving both downhill and on flat terrain. But what's so unusual about this invention? Well, it's got an electric wheel that lets you move without exerting extra effort. When cruising through snowy landscapes, it can reach speeds of over 30 miles per hour, with a maximum travel range of 12 miles. The Cyrusher Ripple is made of fiberglass and carbon. It has a slightly concave base for confident board control. The design features a wheel fitted with a wide, high-grip tire, and the drive is powered by a 12.6 amp-hour battery that you can carry with you. As for the cost, this marvel will set you back anywhere from $2,199 to $3,299. At the Boat Dusseldorf show, e-Propulsion unveiled their smallest electric outboard motor called the e-Lite. Unlike powerful outboard electric motors with separate battery packs, its compact size and light weight make it easy to carry, and the folding handle doubles as a tiller. It attaches to the boat with a clamp mount. The invention is suitable for small boats with a total weight of up to 250 kilograms. The E-Lite's rated power is 500 watts, ensuring speeds of up to 5 kilometers per hour. The battery power lasts for about one and a half hours of cruising at a steady pace. If needed, you can connect a gadget to the battery via a USB port. The e-Lite is available for purchase through the company's dealer network for $1,000. The OpenBox C Plus body is the first retractable curtain in Europe to pass tests. Additionally, the body is approved for transporting beverages, making this product even more versatile. Such a body is suitable for carrying loads up to 15 tons and up to 525 square feet in size. The invention is available in two variants. In the first, the body folds from the front, allowing for the transportation of containers and oversized cargo on the platform. In the second, there is the option of installing an unfolded tarpaulin, 
allowing for the transportation of goods requiring protection from weather conditions. The body is ideal for transporting sea containers, food boxes, or even for moving furniture during relocation. A finger exoskeleton. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But such a device exists. The innovation is made by the German company Dignity and is designed to prevent finger joint injuries. For example, a person who continuously presses the control keys of a machine may damage a tendon or tissue in their joints. Artis solves this problem and also provides protection against cuts and injuries. The device consists of three hinged nylon segments connected by polymer and stainless steel joints. These joints allow the finger to move freely within the normal range of motion, but are blocked to prevent it from bending back further than it should. Holes under the fingertip pads covered with thin foam allow users to maintain the tactile sensitivity needed for delicate tasks, such as handling tiny objects. What do you think of these inventions? If you like them, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This is just a glimpse of what we're ready to show you, so stay tuned and stay up to date with the latest technological advancements.